morning guys so it is day four of me being in london day three of the international intercontinental or international pokemon championship um i'm on my way to the convention center um gonna do some side side events this time for sure i'm doing side events um everyone else is sleeping in they're like way too tired from the last couple days that we were here so i'm gonna go do that and then um Hopefully we have a great day today. Like that's well, every day that I've been here so far, it has been pretty awesome. So I I don't I don't think we're not gonna have a good day. So yeah. So let's get to the convention center. All right, guys. So let me tell you what happened. Wait, give me a second. Let me adjust the camera real quick. Two seconds, guys. Don't look. All right, so I messed up. Well, I didn't mess up, but I was really tired. Like, I wasn't tired. Okay, so Sunday night or Sunday, I went to the convention center. I played some side events. I I kept selling some stuff to the vendors, and I picked up a couple of things to bring home. So I was just busy. And after that, I ended up going with Brody's mom. And them to dinner because they took me out to get Indian food for the first time and I didn't want to be rude and I didn't want to record with them you know I didn't know how comfortable they were with me recording you know I don't know them that well but they were very nice I'm very grateful to Brody's mom for like swooping me up and kind of showing me around uh, parts of London so yeah so I ended up getting Indian food and with them we went to the London Eye and that's where I met up with the rest of the group. I hung out with them. And there was some like Swedish um, thing going on where they had like hot dogs, fries, waffles, mini pancakes, and cider. It was really fun it, and I really enjoyed my time. I was just really, I didn't record. That's pretty much the gist of it. So I just wanted to tell you guys what happened that day. So yeah. So. From here on out, we're jumping into day five. And day five, I'm coming back home. So let's jump into that. Hey, what's up, guys? So it is day five of the London trip, uh, making my way back to the airport. Um, I, didn't, I didn't record on my way out, like walking and stuff, because it was just so hectic. Like this morning, uh, the trains are like super overpacked. I kind of wish I recorded it just so you guys can see like the chaoticness of the train system out here. Like the train system is awesome, but at the same time, like there's a lot of people in London. <laughs> so yeah, and these little trains like can't take all of us at the same time. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, but I'm on my way to the airport, coming back home, and hopefully we have a safe trip, or a good flight, you know. So I'm excited for that. Um, and see you guys once I land, I guess. So guys, so I made it to the airport um, in good time. I'm not late, which is good, but uh, now I have to be here for two hours because my flight is delayed. So yeah, so I have two hours to kill at the airport. Um, apparently, like all the SoCal people are on the same plane, and we all I bumped into a lot of people on my way over here, but I 
I came by myself, so I'm going home by myself. Um, like, don't get me wrong, like, I, I would have wanted to hang out with them, but it's just, I rather, I had other things to do. I had to go pick up some coffee mugs. Uh, so, Michael Torco Rosa, I got you your mug. Um, FYI, it was a mission and a half to get you your mug. I was carrying my bag through London to find you a Starbucks to get these mugs, this mug for you. Not cool. But I did it anyways because I got you that. But yeah, so I did that. I went to exchange my pounds back into dollars and I did it at the post office. So for those of you at home that don't know about London, if you ever need pounds converted to dollars, the best place to do it is the, is the post office. Um, and if you, if you can exchange the least amount of pounds uh, or the least amount of dollars to pounds back home, that'd be great because you honestly don't need that many pounds to move around here. Like the most you need is like 50 to get to like a post office and then at the post office convert or exchange as much money as you need to or you can pull money out of the ATM and stuff. So yeah, so I learned that on the trip. So that's some valuable information for you guys to take back home as well. So yeah. So, I'm about to have breakfast and hang out and kill some time. So yeah, so, see you guys in a bit.
What's up, guys? So I'm back in Cali. I I didn't record much when I landed because I was I was upset. I'm just you guys are gonna hear it. Like I I I was pissed off. Like the guy that sat next to me apparently he had like epilepsy or something like that. He didn't like tell anyone like the flight attendants about like his medications. He ends up passing out 20 30 minutes into the air and it was just a nightmare and a half so i was i was upset and all i wanted to do was get out of there come home so i'm back home on my on my way to go eat um so yeah so that's what i'm up to i'm getting gas because my car didn't have gas so yeah so probably just gonna stick around with you guys for dinner and then after that that's it like we're done for the day but yeah so on to dinner It's not good enough for me since I've been with you. Ooh. It's not gonna work for you. Nobody can equal me. No, no. done for today i'm burnt out it is 11 almost 11 o'clock here in the united states i've been up since like two in the morning united states time because i was up like seven o'clock no wait seven go back eight hours i've been up since 11 oh god no since since one i've been up since one. Oh my god so yeah I'm tired. I'm burned out. I'm done for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
this whole trip with me it was great to be able to share this with you guys so yeah so um as for the next coming days i do have a deck profile with israel sosa on his 22nd place deck and i also have a, a match between me and another youtuber but more on that with the days to come but yeah guys like always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time